Hi guys, welcome to Beer and Watchers. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Stalingrad Grenade Field Watch. It is a beauty. Now, times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hi everyone, I'm your host Matt Johnson and welcome to my YouTube channel Beer and Watchers. Today is Wednesday, congratulations on making it halfway through the week already. Today we are reviewing the Stalingrad Grenade Automatic Field Watch from Stalingrad Watchers. Now this is my third Stalingrad Watch review. Last week I reviewed the Stalingrad Torpedo Quartz Watch and the week before that I reviewed the Stalingrad Kursk Automatic Watch. Both were great watches and if you want to take a look at those reviews I'll post links in the description below this video or you can go to the home page here on my YouTube channel and you'll see them in the last couple of episodes. Now this one is an automatic watch and we're going to get into it today but one thing I want to say before we do is that I don't get paid by Stalingrad to review these watches and as a matter of fact I also don't get to keep the watches. I know what am I doing this for? I'm doing it because it helps me as a YouTube channel to get watches in to review. That's saves me a lot of money having to buy the watches myself but I do have to send them back which means you are going to get unbiased reviews of the watches that I review here on my channel that is super super important to me that you guys trust me and trust my reviews now Stalingrad watches are a company based in Hong Kong and their watches are manufactured in China but wait before you run for the door and say oh no another Chinese watch brand I can tell you from the last two Stalingrad watches that I've reviewed here on my channel, I am super impressed with what this company is doing, both in build quality and in the prices and the packaging that they're putting around their watches. Everything is high quality, top grade, and you know what guys, totally, totally affordable. So out of all the Chinese watch companies out there and the micro brands, this has fast become one of my favorites. I'm just sad that I don't get to keep these watches and I have to send them back. So now you know who Stalingrad watches are, you can go check out their whole watch line at stalingrad.co, that's right here, and I'll also put a link in the description below this video to that website, BW20, which stands for Beer and Watches 20% Off. So if you see this watch, the last two watches I reviewed, or next week when I review a Stalingrad as well, if you like any of those, go along to their website, you can put in BW20 in the discount code and you'll get an instant 20% off. All right guys, I've talked enough, so let's go ahead and spin the camera around and take a close-up look at this watch, the unboxing and the specs. Okay, everyone, here it is, the Stalingrad Grenade. Now, first of all, as I've said on the other reviews of the Stalingrad Torpedo and the Stalingrad Kursk, the packaging that Stalingrad gives with their watches is absolutely first class, especially considering the price point of these watches. It doesn't matter whether you're starting out the Stalingrad Torpedo or you're going up to the Stalingrad Kursk, everyone comes with this incredible packaging. It's got a red lid with the Stalingrad logo and star embossed in silver on the lid there with a black outer box. We remove the lid and inside we have the Stalingrad watch box. Now this is also black with an applied kind of wood finish to it with the Stalingrad logo and star embossed again there on the lid. Upon opening the box we are greeted again with the Stalingrad logo inside. As I've said before this is just in case you forget which company you purchased the watch from. We also get the Stalingrad hang tag here with the red string that matches the beautiful red lid and the red soft cushion that the watch sits on. In the back here we have the international warranty card and there we have the watch. As I've said before with the Stalingrad watches that I've unboxed and reviewed, I am super, super impressed with this packaging. I mean, you know what? It doesn't take a lot to give you premium packaging, but what it gives you for that little bit of extra money they spend on the packaging, it gives you a premium watch unboxing experience and after all in my opinion when you're buying a new watch whether you're spending $150 or $600 you want to feel like you got your money's worth and Stalingrad is doing that in spades with their watches and I am super super impressed I've said this before I paid a lot less for uh, sorry a lot more for watches and got a lot less packaging so very 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 well done Stalingrad on this this is super important and I wish more watch companies would lead by 
your example. All that being said, let's get rid of the box and let's take a look at the watch here. It's the Stalingrad Field Watch Automatic. Very different to the Stalingrad Kursk or the Stalingrad Torpedo. Price is $365 US retail. But as I mentioned with the BW20 discount code right now, you're going to get $73 off that, which brings it down to $292 US retail with free shipping as it stands at the time of this video filming. So if you want one of these watches, make sure you pick one up as soon as possible. Again, as I mentioned, I don't get paid for these reviews and I also don't get to keep the watch. So I have absolutely no reason to give you anything more than an unbiased review. And that's what you're going to get from me. Now, first of all, this is a field watch design. I'm going to give you the specs of the watch and then we're going to go over some of those features in a little more detail. The movement in this is an automatic Mayoda 8 series movement. The case is stainless steel. It's got an ionic black plating, which is similar to a PVD plating. And this has kind of got a distressed old fashioned look about it, which is very cool. The case diameter is 42 millimeters. It's got a lug width of 22 millimeters, meaning you're using 22 millimeter straps. It's got an 11 millimeter case thickness and a lug to lug top to bottom of 50 millimeters. The glass on this, the lens is a domed mineral crystal, not quite as good as sapphire crystal, but still a domed mineral crystal is going to be hard wearing and strong and certainly keeps the price point down as opposed to a sapphire crystal. The dial is green with Swiss white loom markers. It is a multi-level dial. So rather than those markers being applied to the dial, you can see that it's white underneath. And then I hope you can see this, the um, green dial is placed over the top with the cutout section. So what you're looking at is the white loom underneath there. It comes with a Cordura strap. It also comes with a green NATO strap for free. And it is water resistant to 10 ATMs, 100 meters or 330 feet. That is water resistance of washing your hands, splashes of water, not actual underwater resistance because it has a push pull crown and not a screw down crown. Finally, the case back on this is a stainless steel screw down exhibition case back. So you can see the movement inside and the uh, sign Stalingrad black rotor. Now let's talk a little bit about the movement here inside this watch. What we're looking at inside there is a Mayoda 8 series Japanese movement. It's an automatic movement with a 40 hour power reserve, meaning that if you fully wound the watch, it will last for 40 hours before it needs winding again. Now, because of that rotor there, movement from your wrist will wind this watch. So in effect, if you're wearing it all the time, it should actually keep keep going indefinitely. Once you fully wound it, you can go a whole day, then you can take it off, put it on your nightstand, go to sleep for eight, nine hours, get up, put it on, and it will still be running. That's because the power reserve lasts for 40 hours or basically about a day and two thirds. So once you've wound it, it will keep running due to that movement. It's got 21 jewels in there. They're the little pink crystals that you can see there. Now they are not real jewels. Uh, real jewels aren't really put in watches anymore. They are a synthetic crystal and they are designed to stop the watch components of the movement rubbing against each other and wearing down the movement. It's got 21,600 vibrations per hour. It's got an HMS dial, which is hour, minute, and second hands with a date complication at the four o'clock position. This Mayoda 8 series movement is used in quite a few micro brand watches such as Vostok, AV8, Flyboy, uh, Festina, Seven Friday. This is hackable and hackable means if you can see the second hand is sweeping away there, you'll see that when I pull it out, the second hand stops. And that is so you can give the watch more precise time setting. This uh, Mayoda 8 series movement was introduced in 1977, so almost as old as me, found in many micro brand watches and the reason being that it's affordable, it's easily obtainable and most importantly this Mayoda movement is a workhorse and when I say workhorse that means that it's tried and true, it's got a minimal design to the movement and it does its job and is reliable as far as time setting goes. Now let's take another look at that dial. As you can see we've got white tips on the hour and minute hand, that is the loom. We've got 
white a little white dot on the end of the second hand there and we've also got the white large numerals which is basically what you will see on a field watch just below the 12 o'clock position it's got the stalingrad stamp and just above the six o'clock position it says automatic water resistant to 100 meters again 330 feet now before we carry on with the rest of the review of the watch let's turn the lights out in here and take a look at the loom and there it is guys there's the loom on this bad boy as you can see, the loom is really, really nice on this watch. Those numerals are really popping out. Very, very big and very, very visible. We've got the loom on the end of the hour and minute hand there. As you can see also on the second hand, not only on the dot on the sweeping second hand on the end, but also at the opposite end and the central spindle there. You are certainly going to be able to read this at night very, very legibly. And that loom looks awesome. Now, before we carry on with the review of the grenade, you may have noticed that on my wrist here, I'm wearing another beautiful beautiful watch and this is the Stalingrad Destroyer. I haven't done a review of this one yet on my channel but I'll be doing a review of this next Wednesday here on my channel. It's the last Stalingrad that I've been sent so if you want to see that make sure you tune in next Wednesday for the review of this automatic watch the Stalingrad Destroyer. Now back to the Stalingrad Grenade. What I want to talk about now is the strap. Well the two straps this one and also the NATO strap right Right here. Now this strap is a Cordura strap. Cordura was originally used by the military in tires and Cordura is a fabric that is both breathable and lightweight while also being resistant to water, stains, tears, scuffs and abrasion. And in fact you can see the Cordura stamp on the inside right here and the Stalingrad stamp over here. Now this is one of the most durable fabrics available today. It is very very hard wearing it is a great fabric and the strap is made out of that this black Cordura strap. We have some leather around the holes here. We can go basically from, like with the other Stalingrad watches, about a six and a half inch wrist up to a nine inch wrist, eight and a half, nine inch wrist, which means it's going to fit most people looking for a watch. The strap has got great stitching. It's also got two keepers. One is fixed in place and the other one moves. And as I've said before with the Stalingrad watches, these keepers are super, super nice. They move buttery smooth. They're very, very easy to use. Glide up and down the strap with no friction no problems. We've got a stainless steel tang buckle again with the ionic black coating on there, the distressed black coating. And as with the other Stalingrad watches, it works really, really nicely. No problems to get that time buckle engaged in the strap. I'm super impressed with the build quality of the straps on the Stalingrads. Now you also get a green NATO strap. Now in case you're wondering, NATO straps are perfect in hot weather. You know, when metal straps are uncomfortable and traditional leather straps basically just soak up your sweat, NATO straps are super, super great. They're also more casual, but very, very functional. Now designed by the British military, military of defense in 1973, which is older than me by a year, believe it or not, the term NATO comes from a short version of NATO stocking number. Basically, when soldiers wanted a strap for their watch, they had to fill out a stock form, hence the NATO stocking number or NATO. So that's where the name comes from. And if you're wearing it with the green NATO strap, it's going to fit in quite nicely with the green face. I mentioned that this is a stainless steel case with a black ionic coating. Now, now, essentially, ionic coating is like a PVD coating in as far as it's a vapor deposition process whereby a hard material is heated up in incredible temperatures and then the vapor of that process is deposited onto the surface of the stainless steel of the watch. That vapor then hardens, creating a tough, durable layer on the stainless steel, which means that the watch is going to last a lot longer and be a lot more durable to scratches, wear, things like that. Now, now, I did mention that this is a field watch and you may be wondering, well, what exactly is a field watch? Well, the term field watch basically refers to watches that were worn in battle or in the field by the military in World War One and World War Two, Field watches can be spotted by a few key features. A stainless steel case, which we have on this canvas band, easy to read dial, which you can see right there, luminous hands and markers, which we have, large numerals, which you 
you can see here. And they're built to withstand tough conditions as they would have been used for in the war. So that essentially is a field watch. But generally, field watches tend to be round like this and they have these canvas straps and that's how you can spot them. Now, I'm going to change the strap on this. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken off our Cordura strap. I've popped the pins out and then popped them in to the lugs here so that now it's ready for the NATO strap. We just feed that strap through uh, the top bar there, through the bottom bar like this. Very, very easy. Move that into position and then feed that through the back. And that is now on the NATO strap. Now you can see how that really changes the look of the watch. I always say that if you have a watch, you can change the look of your watch without buying a new watch just by changing the strap. And that definitely changes the look of that watch completely. Now the focus is on the green and it gives it kind of that military feel. And there we go, guys. There's the grenade on the wrist with the green NATO strap that's supplied. Now, one thing I want to mention, we didn't talk about the crown here. As you can see, the the crown is signed with the Stalingrad star. It's got really, really good coin edge to it there, and it's a good size. I'm really impressed with the crowns on the Stalingrad watches. Okay, now I've slipped it off the wrist here to show you the operation of the crown. Now, to wind the watch, you don't pull the crown out at all. You just wind it, and uh, it's got a really good, nice, solid wind action to it. A little bit grainy feeling, but I kind of like that. It lets you know that you're actually winding the watch. You then pull it out again, just one notch, and that will change the date on there. And finally, you pull it out again to change the time and then you push it back in to set the watch again this is not a screw down crown meaning that this will allow water in here so this watch is going to be good for splashes of water uh, washing dishes stuff like that but i wouldn't take it underwater or swimming uh, because it is not waterproof all right guys so there it is my review of the stalingrad grenade. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this look at the Stalingrad grenade. I think it's a beautiful watch. Like I said, if you want to pick one up right now for a 20% discount, use my discount code BW20 and go to stalingrad.co. Enter that code at the checkout and you'll get that huge, huge saving. If this is your first time here, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's great to have you around and I respond to all my subscribers and all their messages. Go ahead and click on the bell button up there to the right of the search bar what that does is notify you every time I release a new video which is every Monday Wednesday and Friday and that becomes super super important when I do watch contest giveaways which I do on quite a regular basis here on my channel you do not want to miss those contests and if you're subscribed and you hit that bell button you will be notified the very second those contests come out as always guys please do leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and also hit me up with a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode of Beer and Watchers. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, make sure you click on this video right here and the Beer and Watch logo right there to subscribe. Take care, guys, and bye for now. <laughs>